crafts can avoid other ships that have tracking enabled, but icebergs could prove to be the real problem. A strange looking vessel setting sail on the Derwent this afternoon. With no one on board, it's steering itself and being directed from shore. So it gives us the ability to reach places that we couldn't easily reach before. Um, it's a game changer for safety because it gets our people out of harm's way. It's one of the CSIRO's new sail drones out for testing before being deployed. The autonomous wind-driven craft is fitted with a multitude of sensors capable of sending data back to scientists about water temperatures, salinity and ocean chemistry. They can be deployed for uh, months in, in the same location so we can understand how the uh, the changes might be progressing with seas and, and, and they can be redeployed at different locations. After calibration and testing, the drones will set off from Hobart, one of the targets, Tasmania's east coast, which has seen rapid temperature increases. It's causing major changes in ecosystems and this uh, allows us to go and do, uh, to, to get much better coverage for longer periods to understand how the environment's changing. A key test will be the journey down to the wild southern ocean. The drones can avoid ships with AIS tracking, but icebergs are a different story. Icebergs are the one thing we can't avoid, so we don't have any yet any sea and avoid technology. So if the iceberg is not transmitting AIS, which it is obviously not, uh, we might hit it. Testing the waters for more research missions. Michael Breen, Southern Cross News. A New South Wales father.